darling. So good to see you. Charlotte Tilbury. Hello and welcome. My name's Kathy A and yes, we have been waiting for this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury full face makeover using all Charlotte Tilbury items. <laughs> oh boy, was this fun. Um, I'm just going to start right away and I think we'll start right straight from the shower, a little bit of moisturizer, sunscreen and flat out looking like my great aunt in the nursing home minutes before she passed away. <laughs> That's what it looks like for the before. So I just thought you would like to see me as a redhead. It won't last very long. <laughs> um, I didn't make it in time for the end of the Sephora sale and I'm so sorry. We lost power at my house for a full day uh, during a freak storm in Connecticut um, Saturday and I was out of town on Sunday so I didn't get a chance to, to film it on time but I wanted to make sure I got it up at least so you could see the Charlotte Tilbury stuff so there are a number of items here that I absolutely loved and I'm just going to go through them all so you could see them in action and I'll be back with you at the end with my thoughts All right then, here we are, looking like a fishmonger. Oi then, oi then, mackerel, three pound fifty, mackerel, three pound fifty, cockles, fifty p, cockles, fifty p. Come on, come on now. So as promised, I am doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury, and actually you can do a drinking game with that. I'm not going to say her name in that manner all the time. So anytime I do, maybe you can take a drink of something, wine, peanut butter, whiskey, water, coffee, tea, you pick. Okay. First of all, I want to let you know that I love Charlotte Tilbury. I think she's an amazing woman. She's had quite a history and I do have linked at the end of this video a little box you can click on. It's the story of Charlotte Tilbury, her whole history, pictures of her as a kid, things like that, and where she got her inspiration from. And um, also I do a full face makeover using her stuff. Now this was in 2015, 2016, around there when she was introducing her new uh, perfume. And I made a big deal over how pretty her packaging was and how the scent really didn't do all that much for me. But so, okay, one thing that really impresses me about Charlotte Tilbury is she's one of the early makeup artists who really felt that um, it's important to have skincare. And she, when she did her models, her runway models, she noticed between being hungover or you know jet lagged or just not eating well or drinking enough water, the models had terrible skin. So she mixed up concoctions in her kitchen with seed and nut oils, rosehip, um, all kinds of different emollient type ingredients. And she used to slather this stuff on to the model's skin so it would hydrate the skin and prepare it so that when her makeup went over the top, it would look wonderful. So she actually wound up packaging it when she released her makeup line. And this is her magic cream. At least for the evening that you wear your makeup, this stuff is very hydrating. There is a strong scent of uh, floral, and I think it is added fragrance. According to Paula, the makeup lady, um, this stuff is not, uh, there's not enough really good ingredients to do long-term skincare. But temporarily, it does really give you some nice hydration and I like the scent. I think it's a very luxurious item. This little jar here is the $29 uh, jar. I've used it three times. I've dipped down in there a little bit. Uh, the fragrance may bother some of you sensitive skin types, so I'll just warn you about that. Now, this isn't my first rodeo here with her products. I did purchase 
a full face load. As you know, I drank wine and then went on the Sephora website the first day of the sale and ordered pretty much everything. Don't ever do that. <laughs> Note to self. <laughs> um, but anyway, I am glad I did, even though I'm going to be returning some of these items. So I'm going to get started. Um, now I've just put a layer of Magic Cream on. And now I'm going to use the, um, this is the Wonder Glow Primer. She has like eight layers of primers before she puts her makeup on finally. And uh, I'll, I'll follow, thusly, we'll follow. So this is the Wonder Glow Primer, very pretty. And I'm just putting it all over my skin and decollete because when I finish, I will be showing off in my style. <laughs> like my flag. <laughs> you know, I am an Anglophile. I lived in England for three years. Yeah. Now this is the Flawless Hollywood Filter. She said you can use it under the makeup to bring up a glow, or you can use it over the top as kind of a highlighting feature. So I'm just going to put a little bit in a few areas. And uh, I'm using my fingers. And there is sort of a glow that it does give your skin. Some people say it's a, a foundation replacement. I do not. <laughs> I don't think it's a foundation replacement. But heck, it's another layer between my skin and the makeup. So maybe it'll fill in some of these St. Bernard lines. <laughs> Oi! Try it. Get me some more vinegar for these chips. Oh, they really need it. Okay, now I couldn't locate a eye primer in Sephora for the uh, Charlotte Tilbury. I don't think they carry quite everything in her line, and I'm not even sure if she has a uh, eye primer. So I'm just using the Milk Makeup Hydra Grip Primer. And I'm just going to put that on. I think that works nicely as a primer for eyeshadows. Now I always do my face primer first. From the shower, I usually have a light moisturizer and I have some, some sunscreen on, a light sunscreen layer. So that's another layer. Okay, I think we're ready to roll with the makeup here. Here we go. Hey, Trip, Trip, grab me one of those new castles. It's on the bread bin there. I don't know how those Yanks can drink their beer so cold. This is the uh, Magic Away Liquid Concealer, and this is a shade two. Okay, now I got greasy hands, so it's gonna be hard for me to pull it off. <laughs> oh, here we go. Now this is a sponge tip applicator, just like the uh, the Maybelline uh, Ageless thing. I'm just gonna blot it onto the red spots. And I got a lot more of those as time goes on. And I'm going all around my mouth and my red chin, which I hate my red chin. Oh my goodness. I got some age spots up here. I got some over here. Hello. You are old. I don't think they sold her brushes at Sephora. I only got stuff because it was on sale in the Sephora sale and I was a rouge. I'm still a rouge and I'm a rouge to next year thanks to this sale. <laughs> I think this sale alone put me in the rouge category. <laughs> uh, anyway. Um, and I'm just going to smooth over with my finger all around to meld that concealer into my skin. Because I don't want it sitting on the skin funny so that it moves around and piles into the St. Bernard lines here. Okay, we'll take care of some of this with some eyeshadow later, but okay, for the most part, we've covered the dings and dents and bruises. Now this is the Flaw Airbrush Flawless Foundation. And this is the shade number four, neutral. So I am going to shake it up and I'm going to stick it on 
just two squirts. And I think I'm going to use a sponge on one side and a brush on the other, okay? So I'm just going to dot it first. Go down the decollete with it, especially if we're showing it, going to the ears, to that. Okay, let's put that first layer on, and I'm pouncing. I'm not smearing. You don't want to smear. You want to pounce. Pounce, pounce, pounce. Without. All right. Now I think the other side we're going to use a uh, buffing brush. And this is my Urban Decay Prince uh, Purple Rain brush. I'm just going to go in here with this and I'm going to go around with that. I think it goes on really nicely with the brush quickly. I think the, um, the sponge took a little longer to work so I would recommend using a brush with this foundation. Also you can buff easier get it into the nooks and crannies. Hello. Woo. Okay. That ear, remember you want to get your ears so you're not showing white ears with your foundation. All right, let's see if there's any extra we need to pounce in here. All right, here we go. Okay, I think we've covered that. Let you see that close up. And I always turn my mirror to the cruel and horrible um, 10 by side. And then I take my finger. You can use your ring finger around your eyes and you can use any finger around your face. And just press it in. I let my finger kind of warm it up a little bit and I press it in. And it looks quite nice. Alright, so now I have this is the um, instant face in a box, uh, instant look in a palette. Instant look in a palette. So we're going to look here and I'll just show you this palette. Um, along the top, we have a shimmery ivory, a shimmery uh, mid brown, and a shimmery kind of dark mauvey brown. We have a light shimmer pink a medium shimmer pink, we have a plain uh, face powder, and we have a shimmer highlight. You see my pattern here? When I saw this online, I thought these three were matte. I thought this was matte. I thought this was the shimmer, and this was the blush, and that this was the face powder. And I can tell you right now that the face powders worked really nicely, uh, but I will say that these eyeshadows were all a shimmering hot mess. So I'm going to work around that and still make a pretty look and we'll see what happens. Now I also have face products in my collection even before the sale. I have my Film Star Bronze and Glow from Charlotte Tilbury and we have the uh, highlight and the the bronzer which I will be using probably as eyeshadow. I have a powder here to set things and you can see it's well loved. Hit pan and then I have a blush, which is called First Love, also well-loved, hit pan, love it. So I'm going to use these things on one side and the face palette on the other side. All right, so for the bronzer, I think I'm going to use this one. This is the bronzer in the face palette. It is quite pretty. I really like the face palettes, um, the face powders in this palette thing, but not enough to justify the $75 price tag. 
I think the $75 price tag was a little steep for this, especially since the eyeshadows are really a disaster on me. Just give myself a little bit of color down the decollete. All right, and I think for the uh, highlight, I'm just gonna use my finger here and this highlight is not as um, glowy as I thought it would be. I actually did use this for an eye base, but it's a little too glowy for an eye base. Okay, and let me just, I messed up there. I'm not used to doing one side with one thing and one side with the other, so you see you paint this. And now the blush in first love, but I think we'll use the blush on one side with this one. And I'll use my pretty little, just going to go into this darker blush color. And I'm just going to go on this side with it so you can see how pretty it is. Very natural, pretty flush to this. And I usually put my highlighter down before my blush so that it can kind of glow underneath. Now this one's slightly warmer, I think, and lighter than the other color, but they will go together okay. And it seemed like this one was more pigmented. Uh, this is the Cheek to Chic, or Chic to Cheek, Cheek to Chic. And uh, First Love, it has the darker shade down there and the lighter shade. too over the top. I mean, kind of nice. I'm just going to use a powder puff and I'm just going to set just under my eyes here with this powder because the other one's just a little too shiny. All right, so now we're back to the face in a palette here. So we want to make a, um, a nice crease color. I'll start Here, this way and down, this way and down. So I'm actually painting over the hooded eye part, much like I did with the Sephora brand stuff. I'm going to take some of this eye in the darker shade. I'm just going to go here on the end and work it up. And you can see that it's more of a mauvey tint rather than brown. It was a little deceiving looking online. It looked like it was gonna be brown. I'm very, very unhappy with this palette as far as the eyeshadows go. Okay. You can see where it's kind of a hot mess. Yeah, I don't understand why people feel the need to put shimmer in everything, because it's just wasn't all that good. I'm going to use um, some of this bronzer. I think it's a little cooler toned and I'm just going to go over the top of that. And now I'm going to go into this lighter shade and just go right on the lid here. And it's a, a kind of a, a pale orange shimmer. I'm going to take this pink and just go around right up in here, 10 and 2 I call it. Just going to just touch around there to add a little bit of warmth on the corners of that. And now this is the Hollywood, um, it's a two-sided liner. One side is black and the other side is this golden shimmer. I'm just going to use the golden shimmer right underneath the eye like this and right on the inner corner here and on the 
other side, the black, I am just going to run it really close to the lashes. Now, I had tried to do my waterline with this and it didn't stay. It, it transferred right down to that lower lid. So I'm just gonna go right next to the lashes. And then I'm just going to take that same brush and I'm going to just sort of whoosh it down here. And whoosh it up here a little bit. And now I have a little bit of a surprise. This is the um, Eyes to Mesmerize, and this is a one and done eyeshadow. I'll show you what it looks like on its own. It's not one and done, not for me. This is the color Oyster Pearl. And I'm just gonna show you here. It kind of, if you can see that. I'm just going to use that right on the inner part of my eye here, just to add a little shimmer and sparkle, as if there isn't enough in that palette. And this actually looks very, very pretty. But the bad news is, is that this is $34, $34. So I'm not sure, you know, if I would recommend this or not, but I can tell you it looks very, very pretty on the lids. And actually, um, what I wanna do, I think, is I'm gonna take a small brush and I'm going to Take a little here and maybe just go underneath as well. Just to give a little shimmer under the eye. So now I'm gonna do the brows and uh, this, is the, um, this is the brow cheat and it's in the color taupe. So I'm just gonna use my mirror here just to have a look. Now it does do kind of a creamy look on your eyebrows. It fills in nicely. It's a good color for me. Goodness, I've got some fallout here. <laughs> so I think it does a lovely job with the, with the eyebrows. I don't make really huge eyebrows. Um, it's not as good as using um, a pencil and using the clear uh, brow set, but I think it, it fills them in nicely. The color is very, very close to my natural uh, brows. And on the other side has a really nice stiff spoolie, and I think that's a really nice... Uh, nice thing. I like to have a pencil with a nice spoolie on it. Now if you want you can also put some setting spray on that and just put that right up like that and it really helps set them up in place so they're not um, so flopsy cream. I'm going to take this and just Okay, so now we're up to mascara, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to curl my lashes here. This is the push-up lashes, the pillow top push-up lashes. Um, interesting wand. It's flat and it's like a paddle, more like a paddle. So I just kind of twist it because I don't know what they, they mean to do with that. <laughs> and 
and I am going down to the root of the lash and up, which is nice. It's not bad. It's nothing extraordinary. Um, it does separate the lashes. It gives them a kind of a feathery look. It's a natural looking um, lash. Now, I know they were giving these as 100 point perks at one point. They're probably sold out of them now. But you can get a travel size uh, for a fairly reasonable price, so you may want to try it. I really like it. Um, it's not my favorite mascara. It's more of a wispier look. It's not as large a look as I... in the set now. You get the Pillow Talk lipstick, you get the um, plumping gloss, and you get the uh, glitter gloss, and you get the uh, lip liner in the Pillow Talk collection. I think that's a great deal. Uh, really, really good. So what I'm going to do, I think, is show you some of the other colors, but I will do the lining with Pillow Talk. Now I do like Charlotte Tilbury's um, uh, lip liners a lot and I like her lipsticks. I think they're like extraordinary and my favorite lipsticks are generally hers. In fact one of her lipsticks, this one, has won like three years in a row as my favorite lipstick. This is Bitch Perfect. And this is a nude. She thinks you should really use a lip liner uh, brush so that you can get um, you can get it in there and you can blot it and then do another roll. You have more control and it really like holds. This is called Stone Rose. And this is a, kind of an autumn shade, more of a September, October shade. Stone Rose, it's called. This is my favorite shade. This is called Sexy Sienna. Now these are pretty long lasting uh, lipsticks, really, really nice. Um, I do like this shade a lot in the daytime. I have this one and it's called Lucky Diamonds. Lucky Diamonds, this is a bomb. And of course, I saw Olivia. I saw Olivia wearing it. Olivia is her niece. She's the blonde with the really big lips. <laughs> She can look good in anything. I mean, she could paint her lips with ketchup and I think it was gorgeous. So um, this is what it looks like on 63 year old lips though. Lucky Diamonds. So this is a bomb um, and it's very glossy. It's very, very pretty. I do like it. Just gonna take that off. All right, let me just reline with the Pillow Talk liner. And we'll just do the whole set. This is the Pillow Talk lipstick. It's a pretty evening shade. Pillow Talk. And then you're supposed to put the plumper on, which is the 
Pillow Talk Plumper. And there's a strong minty thing going on there. Give it a minute. <laughs> Not quite to Olivia, but it does puff them up a little bit. This is the Pillow Talk um, Plumping Gloss. This comes in this set of four lip products. And the last item is the um, Shimmer Gloss Pillow Talk. You gotta find another name, I think. <laughs> very, very pretty gloss. Does transfer onto the mask. Even the, the packaging is really pretty. You see that shimmer there? All right, so let me get my um, lashes on and I'll be right back with you. Okay. Voila. Be right back. Get my hair down and I'll show you the finished look and give you my final thoughts. Darling, bring me some champagne and some caviar. Oh. Oi, Trip. Come on, you useless git. Put the kettle on. It's nearly half three. So there you have it. That is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, makeover and I think it's kind of fun um, doing these kinds of things because especially with a full brand I can see the things I like, the things I'm not that keen on. I'm glad I got sample sizes. Um, the first thing actually, the Magic Cream um, did give my skin a beautiful hydration. Um, I think the scent would bother some people. I think if you have sensitive skin this may bother you. I didn't really see too much of a point to the Wonder Glow Primer because I don't think it did anything except add another layer between my skin and the makeup so it filled in some of the cracks and crevices I guess. Now the uh, Hollywood um, filter was actually based on a filter on uh, Instagram that inspired her to do this so she thought that people could add it and look like their filtered version on Instagram. So that's where the uh, Hollywood filter was created, the flawless filter. And um, it was okay, it wasn't that great. Uh, the concealer worked really nicely. Uh, I think it's a very nice, I like the brush on it. I think it lasted pretty well, it didn't crack on me. I would not use it as a um, eye primer though. I would use a real eye primer as an eye primer. I love her face powder. I have the number one. I think it's really good for under eyes especially and just the center of the face. I love the cheek to chic blushes. I think that they are stunning and you can see I've used this one. I'm probably going to pick up Ecstasy or one of the other uh, colors too. Now this is the um, Film Star Bronze and Glow which has a highlight and a bronzer in it. This is the mini size and you can get this. This is a really nice I like going into the travel section of Sephora and picking up little things like this because um, the highlight, especially in here, I will not use. The bronzer I would probably use, but uh, getting the mini size, you still get the pretty packaging and it's more portable. I did not like this at all. This is the um, Stoned Rose Beauty Instant Look in a Palette. Pretty packaging, awfully pretty packaging. Um, I think because the eyeshadows were all shimmers, um, they just did not look very good on me. They were just a hot mess, a hot mess, a shimmery hot mess. And so I didn't really use them as eyeshadows. I wound up using the bronzer, powders, blush, and pencil for my eyeshadow because I could not get a really good look from these shimmery shades. There's just way too much shimmer there and this darker shade is not dark enough to do a nice deeper corner. Uh, the face powder is actually shimmery also. It had a highlight in it 
the two blushes were very nice. The highlighting blush was very nice. I think you're supposed to layer them almost like what we used to call draping, where you put the dark shade on the bottom and the light shade over the top. Um, that wasn't bad, but I don't think this palette was worth $75. I'm actually going to be returning it. Don't like it. Um, I really do like this Oyster Pearl Eyes to Mesmerize. Now these things, they're, it's a single color. It's a little, it's like a cream version of an eyeshadow. And like, you know, it does go on really pretty. Has a nice shimmer to it. It's supposed to be one and done. You stick it on your eyes and that's it. But I didn't find that it worked with my aging eyelids very well. I don't think it worked that well. Uh, just putting it in the center of my eyeshadow uh, did work nicely, but I needed a matte shade in the crease and above the crease where my um, overhang is. I think that it, um, it worked nicely there, but not $34 worth. I just can't justify that price point. I loved the brow pencil. I thought that was a really nice, the taupe is a perfect color for my medium blonde uh, hair. The blonde, I think, was slightly light, and I'm glad I didn't get it. I didn't really care for this duo-ended pencil. The gold did wind up cracking on me uh, in my inner eye. You could see cracks. And also the um, black, I couldn't use it in the um, underneath the lashes where I wanted to use it. It transferred badly into the lower uh, water line and that, that wasn't working for me at all. I didn't really care for this. I love the coal pencil, the brown. Uh, there's a shimmer brown that's beautiful. This is the, um, this is called Amber Moon and it's just a beautiful shimmery mid-tone brown. Uh, it's it's my, one of my favorite eyeliners and I, I keep sharpening it down to the nib. I'm going to get right down to the end there on it. Um, as far as the lipsticks go, um, the Stone Rose was the only color I wasn't that crazy about. I did like the, uh, of course, Pitch Perfect is the best color. Um, Sexy Sienna is my favorite. And then I also do like um, Pillow Talk. And if you get the one in the set, if you get the one in the set, you get the special case with the little diamonds along the edge of it, which, you know, was a nice little bonus treat. I guess because it's different. The others don't have that shimmer on them. So it was kind of, <laughs> so you get that, that set that comes with the Pillow Talk lip liner, which I love. The plumping gloss, which was okay. It had a mintiness to it. It did plump my lips a little bit. I found out later, though, that all of my lip stuff wore off under the mask and with eating. The shimmer gloss wore off very quickly. It's awfully pretty though. It really is a beautiful lip look. So these four products come in the um, this lip set, this uh, Pillow Talk Lip Secrets, and I do recommend that highly. It's really, really nice. And of course, the, uh, the Flawless uh, Airbrush Flawless uh, Setting Spray, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. Um, it's got a nice, it sets your, your makeup and melds it all together so it looks cohesive, like it's really put together professionally. And it's got kind of a spice scent, uh, like a pepper, white pepper. Um, it's a, a really pretty scent. It's not floral, it's more of a spice, and I think that that's unique and wonderful. So all in all, um, I like the face products, I like the lip products, I think the eyeshadows that I selected were a mistake. I might try a palette. I did love her Sophisticate palette, but it's always sold out. I've never been able to pick it up since I've been looking for it. They do carry it in Sephora, but it's always sold out. So um, that pretty much does it. The mascara was okay. It's um, a, gives you a nice medium looking lash. There's nothing really spectacular about it. I would say try the travel size, or if they have any of these as a perk, try that. Um, this is the um, push-up lashes, they're called. So I hope you've enjoyed this. It was an awful lot of fun bringing this to you, and uh, cheerio. <laughs>
la 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 la